Hi, my name's Steve Livingston. I'm a chartered accountant and financial advisor to ambitious entrepreneurs. Today I want to speak to you about a Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme, CDIS or SEIS, whichever you want to call it. It's a relief that's aimed at early stage unquoted companies and a way of encouraging investment into them uh, because the tax relief effectively goes towards the investors. A very lucrative tax relief, so it effectively gives income tax relief of 50% for the investors on the way in and then provided all goes well and they hold on to their shares for the relevant three year period, they can sell at a profit, hopefully, with no capital gains tax, so it's a tax free sale. There are also some capital gains tax sweeteners that you can throw in uh, for last year and this year to encourage investors, so it's a really, really lucrative tax relief. And I think we're just starting to see more and more people getting hold of it now. It's starting to gain traction. It's only into its second year now, we're in June 2013, as it was implemented from 6th of April 2012. But the reason I want to speak to you today about it is I'm starting to see people who are toddling off on themselves, uh, setting up companies, new ventures, and really thinking they're going to have this SES relief for their investors, or quite often this relief for themselves as founders, because it is possible to get it for founders if you structure it right. And what they're finding is they haven't, and this assumption is incorrect, and the relief has gone up in smoke. Uh, so quite a painful uh, realisation. But I've seen two in the past two weeks uh, where uh, companies that are new to me have come along and said, right, so here's what we've done. We've set up this company and uh, we've invested £100,000. There's one in particular that invested just under the maximum £150,000 and they were expecting to get the relief. And so they sit down and say, right, so Steve, we're all right, aren't we? And I said, well, yeah, you might be, but you've got to run through the conditions because... Even though it's a relief aimed at early stage companies, you'd think they make it quite straightforward, but it's not. Anything in tax typically is fraught with technicalities, and SEIS is no different. So you start running through the conditions, and then it can often be fairly early doors that you find that the, the, the company and the founders have breached something, um, and the relief has gone up in smoke. Uh, so this particular case is about £70,000, just went up in smoke. That's before you even take into account the tax-free exit after three years. So not a great day at the office for them, but um, this is the point that you really need to make sure that if you're looking at this, number one, well done if you've got hold of it, because again, not enough founders and new startups will realise that it's out there. But having identified it, make sure before you even incorporate the company that you map it all out and you structure it right and you go through the various criteria that you need to qualify. There's certain specific rules around shareholdings and limits and who you're associated with and there's all these things to get right and it's, it's not impossible, it's quite complicated but it's doable but you have to do it before you get going. So uh, that's the advice to make sure that you've structured it right from day one. There's nothing more painful than thinking you've got this in the bank and it and you've, you've you've unwittingly breached it from day one. So my advice is my advice is to get some advice, um, or at the very least go and root around HMRC's website uh, if you've got the time and the energy. Uh, if you want to speak to someone like myself who deals with this day in day out, my name's Steve Livingston. You can find me at iptaxsolutions.co.uk or at businessnduk.com. Thanks for watching.